Welcome to Rob's Rules, where the rules are simple. They're ours. I'm here, you're there, and today, again, another article from Radar. Amber Heard is not being investigated by the LAPD for perjury in the Johnny Depp case, claims Amber Heard's attorney. Amber Heard's attorney claims there is no truth to reports that she's being investigated for perjury by the LAPD in connection to the alleged physical altercation with her former husband, Johnny Depp, Radar can exclusively report. Radar previously broke the news that the 35-year-old actress was granted a motion to dismiss the 57-year-old actor's defamation case against her for the third time by Virginia judge during a private hearing Friday morning, though if she is found to have wasted the court's time, she will face legal repercussions in the form of sanctions, which we've gone over. One of the reasons this, of for the said request, said Amber Heard's attorneys, that she's not being investigated by the LAPT for allegedly staging injuries and crime scene in connection to the May 21st, 2016 incident that took place in the then couple's downtown LA penthouse. Her lawyers claim she is therefore not facing the reported maximum jail sentence of four years. The statute of limitations for perjury in California is three years. And that has long since expired. So an investigation, much less charges, much less a conviction, much less jail time are impossibilities. Heard's lawyer argued in court. She went on to claim that the LAPT has reportedly denied there's any investigation of Amber Heard, adding that the department does not even investigate perjury ever. When contacted by Radar, a rep for the LAPD Media Relations Division said they had never heard of the department investigating a perjury case before. Heard's attorney also accused Depp's longtime attorney, Adam Woolman, of trying to stir up the press and prejudice a future jury, urging the judge to toss the case. The lawyer tried to paint a picture showing the turmoil her client would face should legal proceedings continue, including more intentional fabrications and deliberate misinformation trying to confuse the public, prejudice the jury, inflict harm on Amber Heard, and incite the Depp fans to violence, which we would never do, and it's just such bull. Additionally, Heard's team cited the following reasons to have the judge throw out the case. The delay in court activity due to COVID-19 pandemic and shutdown, the wasted of judicial resources, the recent denial by the UK judge to appeal the ruling in Depp's defamation lawsuit against the Sun, and all the money both teams have spent, allegedly $20 million each, that will continue to spend on litigation. Ultimately, the judge granted Hurd's request to amend, amend, that means correct the motion to dismiss for the third time, in case she may be missing something. I will note, however, if it does come after everything that I'm right, at this point, that it is futile and not based on any sound legal basis she wanted, it will be sanctionable. She held that Heard is required to file a 25-page briefing with the court by June 14th and that they are due back for a hearing on July 22nd. So this is the third time that Amber is trying to throw the case out. First of all, she's trying to base it on what the UK did, which is... You know, every court is different. It's like saying if, if there's something going on in Virginia and it happened in New York because of the New York ruling, it should be dismissed. It doesn't matter. It's, it, first off, it's a different ruling, different judge, different laws, and, and facts that have come up now that have, weren't at that time accessible, such as the body cam footage from both, from both the, set, the second set of police officers which shows that their story of Josh Drew, Raquel Pennington, and Amber Heard are nothing but a hoax, a lie, a fabrication, if you will. How about the $7 million that Amber Heard claimed on television in 2018 that she paid in full? But yet her lawyer comes out and said, well, she didn't pay it because of this lawsuit. But wait a minute. The lawsuit didn't happen during that time period, and she claimed that she paid it in full. But now you're telling us that she never she didn't pay it in full. Doesn't make something's not right there. And by the way, Amber Heard wasn't being sued in the UK. 
It was the son. She came there as their big witness. So it wasn't her first Johnny Depp. She didn't win anything. And the son didn't win anything either. They just all they won was court fees. That that was really it. So now she's trying to get the case thrown out yet again. Again. And I love how she says, well, Johnny Fe Depp fans will turn violent. Violent? And what violence are we going to cause, by the way? Violence? We haven't caused any type of violence. I don't know of any Johnny Depp fan that has gone out there and went after anybody physically. Violence? What kind of violence are you talking about here? That's ridiculous. Nobody's going to do that. This is insane. And to say, well, because of COVID, and they're trying to throw in, well, the judges, the court's time. Really? You think this is a waste of court's time? Not at all. The truth needs to be put out there, and the truth is Amber's lied, and we keep proving that over and over and over again. Now, they're claiming that Statue of Limitations is over and that the LAPD is not investigating. There is a Statue of Limitations. Here's the thing that's a mystery. The German newspaper, the Bild, said that they got in touch with the LAPD and that they were investigating. Now, they're coming back saying, well, no, because we called and they don't ever investigate perjury. So it is three years uh, for statute of limitations means the time does end, and that's the truth. Also, uh, from what I've been reading and researching, that the, the chances of prosecution are slim. So, I don't think that Amber Heard is going to go to jail, and I don't think that the LAPD, according to what I've read, will be investigating. I, As much as I hate to say it, and as much as that burns, again, I want to tell the truth. And from what I'm seeing here, well, they're correct. It's three years for a statute of limitations for perjury. And that time has expired. Meaning, why would the LAPD want to investigate a perjury charge if the time's expired anyway? And according to them, they said the LAP doesn't do that. So... Could be something that was stirred up. Um, you know, I, I just, again, I have to go with the truth. As disappointing as that is, this seems to be the truth. That uh, LAPD is not investigating and that the statute of limitations time is over with. We will know for sure in the future. But for right now, it looks like that that is the truth. But the still, the fact remains, she did lie under oath. And that can now be proven. So I definitely don't think that this case should be thrown out. I think that there has been a lot of evidence that has surfaced since the UK case and would show that the judgment in the UK is wrong. It's wrong. She didn't donate the money. And the, the great witness that Josh Drew was, was lying. He didn't cooperate with the police. He didn't even want them to come in the door. And they didn't see any damage. He said, we didn't clean up. All we cleaned up was the glass because of the dogs. But there was no damage. They went in. It was staged by Amber and her friends. The police, both police have come in there. And Amber's sitting there drinking and seems like she's having fun with Ra Raquel Pennington and Josh Drew and their friend Liz. It didn't seem like this is a person who's been beat up, who was hurt, who was terrified, who was scared for her life. This seems like a person that said, hey, nothing was wrong here. You guys didn't even have to be here. But that's not the way they made it seem with their statement of false. I mean, their statement of truth, which should be a statement of falsehood. That's what it should be. So, I also don't believe that the LAPD is investigating at this point. I also think that it is too late. And that even if anything was going to happen, the chances of her ser serving any jail time, unfortunately, is slim. But if the judge finds that what their motion, that she's letting them amend, is a complete waste of time, she's going to hit them with penalties. She's not taking it. She's tired of the bull. We went over that in the last video. But again, 
I'm a little disappointed, but the facts are the facts, and the law is the law. So you let me know what you think. Do you think that Amber Heard's team is lying? Because I'm telling you, it is three years. I've looked it up. And, you know, I don't think the Yellow PD would be getting involved if something has already stopped. You let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. I'm a little disappointed. But I also hope that the judge really sticks it to them, hits them with sanctions. And again, for the third time they've tried to dismiss this, that they don't win this. And I don't think they're going to. You let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can check out my description, and I'll see you soon. Be well, be safe, take care, and thanks for watching.